This is part of the Siskiyou 101 series. My name is Ian Clement and this is looking at Siskiyou BOM or Bill of Material. Uh, the BOM currently uh, 9.1 uh, is for pipe work only. So I'm going to use that as the example. So what I'm going to do is first of all select what I want my Bill of Material for. So let me just grab a window and drag around um, assorted things. Let me get that elbow in there as well. So basically I want to generate a bill of material for whatever I've just got selected off there. So from after selecting that, if I go up to Cisco and over to BOM, we get this. Now before I actually create the bill of materials, if you go to options here and look at select fields, uh, this is the information that currently on the right hand side is the information that Cisco is going to try and extract for me. These are the additional bits of information I could. So maybe I want to add spool tag to my extracted information and push that over there. So you can use these arrows to take things from this side and move them back over this side and from this side and move them back over there. Now there are a couple of, of these you do need to take note of. Harrison Price. This is a subscription service. Um, we have the data. We cannot provide the data unless you have a Harrison subscription. So uh, if you do have a Harrison account, if you provide that to our support department from the Trimble Enterprise Community.com website, you can get to our support. Uh, if you provide them with your Harrison subscription account number, uh, we do need to verify it. Once it's been verified, we turn the data on there. Obviously, if you don't have a Harrison account, this field will just come out blank. Uh, the same applies for the MCA labor. Uh, again, that's just a sort of paid subscription service that's not really under our control. So if you want that labor value, uh, provide us with your, with your uh, account number for MCAA. And again, we can just add that information on there. Uh, if you do make any changes to this, make sure you hit save. So now we've updated this. So this is the data I actually want to get. Let me close out of here. Uh, typically, that's a one-off setup. You do that once and you don't normally need to do that again. I've now got my selection. If I now do go, Cisco is essentially querying the web for those additional fields we want based on the components we've got there. And you get this. So unfortunately, you can't really do a lot with this. Let me just make that full screen so we can read it. So you can see there, it's all the individual pieces. Um, we've got things like weights coming out on these things. Um, you've got the pricing coming in. In my case, I do have access to the Harrison pricing service, so I've got the Harrison coming off there. Uh, I've got my MCA labor values coming off there. These are in hours uh, or fractions, uh, um, decimal, decimals of an hour uh, coming off there. Um, and then, so you've got various, all those fields being filled out, uh, get populated up on this one here. None of my stuff had been spooled, therefore the spool time is blank. Now, the only real option you have from here is the export to Excel. So I'm going to just the data exactly as it is. I'm going to export that to Excel. And I'm going to call this uh, BOM1. So I'm going to make a couple of these. Save that one out there. Now, other things you can do with this, obviously, it's just in a, a very random order here. I might want to organize this by what type of piece it is. So I could use either the product or the short description. I'm going to use the product because I don't really care what sort of elbow it is. I just want to know it's an elbow. Um, so if I choose product, all elbows will get pulled together. Uh, doesn't matter if it's a long radius, short radius or anything else. So if I grab product, highlight and grip that, I can move that onto this blue bar at the top here. If I let go of there, it's broken up in by product. So for example, I've got some valves. If I expand on these things shows me I've got some one inch ball valves and I've got some uh, six inch uh, uh, LD2000 valves up there. And so all of these categories are going to be broken down the same way. Uh, if we come down to, for example, pipe, now I can do additional breakdown. So I've got some six inch and one inch pipe. It's all obviously all intermingled here. Maybe I want to grab size and drag that up there. So now on pipe, there's my one inch pipe, I've got seven pieces, and there's my six inch pipe, of which I've got five pieces. Now various of these things, you'll notice you've got this little mark thing coming up on here. Um, so this, this allows me to, to do things like totals on here. So maybe I want to total out my pipe lengths. 
come off here and do the sum of these. So now I've got my totals of pipe lengths and things. So different columns, not all columns can be can be totaled, but a lot of the columns can actually be totaled off that. Obviously, there's a lot of data on here, and so based on the information you're trying to uh, extract or how you want to format this, you know, obviously you can drag things around and move them around there. Uh, just one thing on the pipe, uh, on the carbon steel pipe, the way that we provide the data, we don't know what your location is. So the uh, the carbon steel pipe basically is coming from a uh, what's called a pipe mill list. That is generic carbon steel pipe, A53, etc. Uh, coming off there. But because it's not allocated to a region, uh, you'll discover you've got zero pricing on there. Now the copper is because the copper is coming from uh, zero. And you know, they've actually got pricing in theirs for, for theirs. Um, now for the steel pipe, if you do want to get the local pricing for that, you can allocate price or you can change your pipes from the pipe mill list standard to your specific region. So let me just save this and we'll just take a quick look at that. So I'm going to export this to Excel so I can show you the difference. And let me just call this bomb, uh, bomb 2 in this case. So I'll just basically extract it and say you can keep going and going and going. If you want to reset the reset this, drag one of these categories and just pull it back down. So now it's just being grouped by product, so I can like reset how it's set up and start again and regroup it a different way if I wanted to. But before we take a look at those bombs, let me close out of here and just write you want to go back over that pipe stuff. So this is our one of our default systems, which is basically a, a copper by weld bend. Uh, if I go back to the carbon steel, if I right click and edit this piece of pipe, it's a correct piece of pipe there, but basically the manufacturer just says pipe mill list. And so that is a generic piece of pipe with no uh, pricing associated with it. If you go to add fittings and go back to the Imperial Library and pipes, scroll down a bit, all of our default pipe is coming from this pipe mill list. So that's all the different types of pipe. None of these are going to have pricing associated with them. These other folders, Pipe Detroit, Pipe Delaware, etc., uh, Northeast, uh, Southern California, these will carry the local piping prices. So if you're based, let's say, in Philadelphia, rather than actually grabbing the uh, A53 or whatever it is from the pipe mill list, you want to come down here, find the same piece of pipe in here, drag that in, and delete our original one. You've got to add the new piece of pipe before you delete the old one. You can't delete this pipe. Uh, it won't let you delete the pipe initially. It must have one piece of pipe in there. But you can drag the same piece of pipe from here into your system. Then just come in, right click and delete that piece of pipe. It'll then carry the Philadelphia pricing for that pipe itself. So let's just take a look at the files we've actually created off there. So if we come back down, let me just get back to the desktop. And so there's my uh, bomb two and oh bomb one. So let me start with bomb one. Let's get that powered up there. So like I said, this is just exactly a data dump of what we actually had in there. Uh, all the information, so obviously I can use now just the power of Excel to sort this, organize it, um, total it calculate it, whatever I actually need to do with that one. Now, if we take a look at bomb two, this is the one I actually did a little bit of formatting on. All that's basically done, it just created these as uh, pivot tables. So that's how it is expanded. So again, this may may or may not make life easier. So I've summed up, uh, I did tell you to sum the length, therefore the lengths are all summed off there. If I'd sum things like the pricing, and I've got all the pricing and things coming off that. Um, or labor, anything else off that. So basically that's the function of the bomb um, and what the bomb actually does there uh, coming off that.